I am really sorry that uh, my office, uh, that we uh, mistakenly issued a proclamation on behalf of Amanda killed, murdered Sonny Kim. That's Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley last night after his office approved that special honor for Trey Pierre Hummins, the man who shot and killed Officer Kim two years ago. And you can see from the video, very emotional Mayor Cranley. Timing's also bad in this. It comes during Police Memorial Week. Nine on your side's Kristen Swillies at Fountain Square. That's where Cranley's scheduled to speak this morning at a police memorial event. Kristen. Catherine, we are still waiting to see if Mayor John Cranley will actually speak down here at Fountain Square as the city honors its fallen officers. Now, this all started when the father of Trey Pierre Hummins originally asked for Trey Day to be June 1st in Cincinnati for his son's birthday. The mayor says the wording of the request mentioned child abuse and fighting mental illness, but never listed Trey Pierre's full name. According to a retraction issued by the city, a new staffer not in place when Kim was killed intentionally approved it, stamping the mayor's signature. However, Cranley says he takes full responsibility and tearfully described the steps he's taken to try and make things right with those closest to Kim, while the staffer behind that stamped memo says she takes responsibility as well. This was completely and utterly my fault, and I apologize to anyone that it has hurt. Um, truly, I do. I love our police department. Um, I walk with them, ride with them. And I would never do anything to hurt. <laughs> Sorry. Those memorial services start down here at 11 a.m. again at Fountain Square. We will let you know as soon as we hear whether or not Mayor Cranley will speak. Reporting live at Fountain Square this morning, Kristen Swilly, 9 on your side. Kristen.